Hey everybody, as usual, I just want to do a quick video on the dungeons for this week. So this is Dire Maul. Um, I'm going to select the talent that gives you the, you know, leader. When you spawn a leader, you get skeleton mages. So as remembered from the last time we did this dungeon, um, this one is all about, the very first one's all about, once the um, minis, any min minis, go below 50% um, health, they then start to attack each other so the plan here is to just take them out once the tower hits one of them then they're going to start attacking each other like they just did and then i save the um execute which is a must spell uh for this in my this um whole dungeon in my opinion um, i do that and then the goal is to take the towers if you can on both sides preferably I'm um, placing that there because I want them to attack the whelp eggs, which will hopefully start them, um, you know, bur berserking uh, and working for me, which they are. So it's going okay. It's going okay. There's one tower. That guy's just going to continue to keep on killing the tower. Uh, they they did fix a bug though. It used to like would change it would change back to your t tower to their tower to the, your tower, and now whatever it stays whatever they are. And the problem is if you like um let's just say you were to you know bear or uh, banshee one of these, uh you you also inherit their uh you know the build the same thing the berserk below fifty percent. So even your own guys will start killing your own guys. So anyway, the goal of the whole this thing is just to, once you get the two towers, they spawn from the back, and then it's really just to get them to, you know, have their, their army fight for you. So that's why you kind of save the executes. Um, you'll see me do this a lot in this, whereas I try to turn them around. Um, always on the big six minis, if you can get that to go there, you'll get really good damage. But you'll see me use... Um, Quillbore a lot of times to then distract the boss and then so my harpies can do the damage and also the talent I have on execute is bloodthirsty which also gives them like berserk or uh, bloodlust for 10 seconds so all right anyway so let's see what else I got here okay that spell kind of sucks oh yeah twice the damage yeah poison lasts twice as long and does twice the damage anytime you can get the talent and you have harpies it's great because you already have poison, and they just do a bunch of damage. So the goal of this one, or like the mechanic of this level, is every time you spawn a unit, he will also spawn an eye, which explodes. So that's why you see me play my guy way back, um, because I want my tower to kill the little eye that comes after me, so that I can you know try to take this guy down. So cool. And he's gonna get attacked. He's gonna take him over. And we're going to try to take over the tower. Well, pegs kind of suck for this level because they usually do more harm than good. But the good news is the eggs do uh, blow up themselves. So always take over the tower on the right-hand side unless you're way out-leveling the level. I just think it's way easier because then the little minis always spawn way up there at the top. Let the... Let the um, guy close your base. Oh, that was unfortunate. Ideally, what I wanted to have happen is, you know, have my harpies do the damage, but couldn't couldn't get it done. So I'm just kind of chipping away at them. So you'll see me play the um, miner way back so that the eye will, um, you know, not blow up. But unfortunately, eh, it might be okay. Yeah, luckily I'm okay there. So once again, the plan is to use quillbore, but. Yeah, still might kind of work. We'll see. We'll probably spawn a, uh... We'll see, that was kind of dumb of me. Because even though the whelp eggs did some damage to them, they also blew up my... <laughs> what was left of my harpies, so... I play my harpies back, so once again, my tower tanks for me. Uh, yep. Cool. And hopefully, finally. Come on. One time. One time won't work. Once again, I was stupid. Kind of let him explode, but seven times. So yeah, it's basically just about distracting him and using your harpies to do the damage. Use, using your flying minis that do the damage. Unfortunately, they have ogre mages and um, huntresses that can wreck your day, but 
you know it is what it is okay so this last going with going with this done okay so the mechanic of this last boss is so you have two mini bosses on the side now they won't move until you kill one of them and then when you kill one of them it will actually fight for you until he's killed by the the main mini or by the main uh main boss so the the other mechanic is the boss boss has a little healer guy behind him that can literally make you hit your life so what i always do is i focus on two attacks one to take down the healer first and then i work on killing the other guy right so um i like taking out the wizard um i prefer the wizard that was kind of a mistake right there i thought I wanted uh, my necromancer to go up, but it is what it is. So the plan is to hopefully execute just as a bunch of damage to these. I'm hoping this works out. There we go. So now I have that. Now I'm going to distract here in a second. And you kind of want to save up mana around this time, but I'm just kind of trying to delay them. Great, there's a huntress up there. Is also going to be not fun, so. Okay. Yep. And now it's an ogre mage. Yikes. Okay. Well, so I'm like, alright, well, I guess I'll take that. So this is not going well. <laughs> so basically, you want to take the middle tower and then the mini bosses. And so that now, like when he distracts them over, when he distracts the main boss over there, then I can go, okay, I'm going in, you know? So unfortunately, I'm like, oh crap, I don't have like literally anything. I have to go beat this thing. I just totally messed up my heartbeat push. But fortunately, my level is pretty good. So I still get the healer somehow magically. Yeah, got him. But then, of course, I'm not even paying attention. So I'm like, okay, let me plan my next attack. I'm oblivious to the fact that he, he already killed the um the wizard and now she's coming at my base so i'm just trying to like salvage my gold when i really should be focusing on the threat that's coming down to the right because i'm like, oh, okay well, now i can just focus on this is gonna be easy right uh except for i just use my harpies not paying attention to the lower right hand side i'm like okay what's going on oh just a hundreds that's no biggie right i'm like oh oh then i look oh my god look who's down there <laughs> I don't even realize she's just wailing. I didn't realize I'm like, okay, well, I'm pretty much screwed. What am I gonna do now? So thankfully, I had like a like a stun. There's another stun, and it redirected the energy. See, so if I didn't have that like mini thing, and I didn't have my freaking quill board to tank, I'd be like, I'm like one shot away, right? So it was just I should have been way more paying attention to what was going on. Because I could have easily avoided that attack. Somehow I managed to save it. Solely because of that ability. The stun <laughs> redirected the enemies. Which saved me. Honestly. So now I'm feeling okay. Um, if you if you don't take out the other guy. Um, then he'll, he'll never attack. So that's nice. But. I could just being wary. Luckily this isn't a level where like they spawn things behind you or else I'd be totally effed. But anyway, you guys get the picture. Once again with the distract. Let's go distract. Throw some well pegs down there for good measure. Get a little execute in there and it should be the end of times here. Should be the end of times. Oh he has a huntress out there too. 30 cup a little bit just a little longer once again with the distract and it's over so not too bad i think this dungeon is actually one of the better ones i think the middle level is probably the hardest just because you really got to look for that damage window but i definitely recommend taking the tower on the right um just so things are spawning at your base and you know causing a bunch of havoc so anyway as always hope this is helpful have a great day bye